all welcome uh, to motionomics we have completed nine lectures so far and we have started with our second module based on national income in last class uh, we have done certain concepts and uh, we will proceed the discussion further and in this class we will be discussing uh concepts related to national income and uh, in last class we have completed depreciation so the second concept that we will take here will be about net indirect tax now what do we mean by net indirect tax let's see suppose what do we mean by net indirect tax net indirect tax that is nit net indirect tax what are the concepts and uh, how it is being used during the cal calculation of national income let's see here uh, net indirect tax uh, we can define like this the effect of tax and subsidy the effect of tax or uh, we can type like indirect tax and subsidy indirect tax and subsidy what do we mean by this uh for example if we uh, take example of a pen and the pen is uh, has a factor cost of 200 rupees for example this 200 rupees is nothing but the factor cost and what happens is if we come to sell this product in the market and the government uh, gives certain amount of tax for example at tax of 10% 10% then it will uh, the price of this product will be 220 rupees right the price will become what 220 rupees uh, similarly if government says uh, that we will be providing tax on this particular product so this is 200 rupees this is, a, is the factor cost and government is giving subsidy subsidy at 10% then uh, the cost of this particular product will become 180 rupees right so this is this is the factor cost and this is the market price this is the market price and our market price get influenced by get influenced by tax and subsidy this is the factor cost this is the market price and this is uh, this is nothing but if we uh, put tax on it the value increases if we uh giving if we are giving subsidy on particular product then the value becomes less right so this is known as tax minus subsidy that is what market price is right tax minus subsidy so when we write about it uh when we write about factor cost and market price it is like when domestic product is calculated when domestic product is calculated please pay attention to this after including the value of net indirect tax after this is the value this is known as net indirect tax this is known as what net indirect tax i hope you understood the concept that because of tax the market price increases because of subsidy market price decreases uh, as compared to factor cost we are talking about so when domestic product is calculated after including the value of net indirect tax the value of net indirect tax it is called as it is called as domestic product at market price domestic product at market price right as you can see here domestic product at market price the cost will increase to 220 right and if we subtract subsidy it becomes less so uh, addition of taxes and subtraction of subsidy will give you market price okay when nit is not included when net indirect tax is not included not included then domestic product then the domestic product which is being calculated we get what domestic product at mark uh, factor cost factor 
cost. I hope you understood these concepts domestic product at market price and domestic product at factor cost. This is the example and uh, where factor cost is 200 rupees, right? Now let's uh, understand one more concept here which is really more important and that that is known as base year. The third concept here, this is known as base year. So let's understand base year here. Okay. So uh, suppose first let's understand what is base year. So base year is nothing but base year is used to keep price constant is used to keep price constant and eliminate the impact of inflation and eliminate the impact of inflation while calculating GDP inflation while calculating GDP let's see how this uh, happens right so G base year is nothing but it is uh, used to keep price constant and eliminate the impact of inflation while calculating GDP let's see how it is happening exactly so I will give you this example okay these are the two commodities these are the prices these are the quantity this is the total value this is uh, what we are having again prices this is again we are having quantity so okay fine so like this okay. and we will be having one more column here okay fine let's join it like this okay suppose this is a table and uh, these are the two commodities which are uh, being produced in the economy suppose we are having only two commodities in the economy x and y as of now okay and we are considering their prices prices in the year 2011 and 12 quantity in the year 2011-12 randomly i'm taking these things i will explain um, everything in just a while and we are calculating total value so suppose uh, the prices are 10 rupees each and the quantity we have produced in the year there are two commodities in the economy x and y we are taking prices as 10 rupees each the uh, 10 rupees the price of uh, x and the price of commodity y now we are taking quantity quantity suppose we take 10 and 10 okay now if i want to calculate the total value so what will be the total value of production here we are talking about production so p into q this is price p1 this is quantity q1 so when we calculate total value p1 into q1 10 into 10 it will be 100 10 into 10 it will be 100 now i am calculating gdp of 2011-12 uh, so G when i am calculating gdp of year 2011-12 it will be how much 100 plus 100 that is 200 right now suppose the year has changed now and i am talking about uh, price in the year 2024 25 right and uh, this will be the price p2 and i am taking quantity produced in uh, year 2024 25 that is q2 and here i am taking uh, total value right so here i am taking total value so what will be total value here total value right so suppose uh, the price has increased to 20 and production has also increased to 20 units each now it will become 20 into 20 that is 400 it will also become what 400 now suppose i have i have to calculate the gdp in the year 2024-25 how i will be calculating this gdp 2024-25 how much it will be 400 plus 400 that is 800 so as you can see here the prices have become doubled the prices have become double the quantity that quantity have also become double but the gdp increase is four times as you can see here gdp increases four times why because this particular increase in gdp this particular increase in gdp this increase in gdp also includes also includes impact of 
impact of increase in price right impact of increase in price when whereas when i am talking about increase in gdp i am concerned with the increase in production so impact of increase in price right now i want to eliminate i want to eliminate the impact of inflation to eliminate impact of inflation to eliminate impact of inflation what will i do to eliminate impact impact of inflation i will be fixing the price so what i will be doing i will fix the prices right i will fix the price we shall consider only quantity we shall consider only change in quantity and fix fix prices prices okay so suppose fix prices so suppose i have to fix the price so what will i be doing here i will take take prices p1 and i will take quantity q2 i will take prices p1 and quantity q2 so what will be the gdp gdp of 2024 25 it will be prices are 10 and quantity are 20 so 10 into 20 plus 10 into 20 right now it will be 200 plus 200 and it will be 400 now you can see the gdp has increased from 200 to 400 gdp has increased from 200 to 400 what this 400 is and what this 800 is basically so this point this gdp we call it gdp nominal gdp what we called it nominal gdp or we can also called as gdp at current prices because we are taking prices of the same year gdp at current prices and uh, what it does basically it includes the impact of increase in price it nominal gdp includes the impact of increase in price i hope you understood this point now let's see what this gdp you will call this gdp is known as real gdp real gdp and it is also known as gdp at constant prices gdp at constant prices i hope you have got the understanding of gdp at current prices and gdp at constant prices right now let us understand one thing here that when we fix this particular year for example we took prices of 2011 12 this is known as base year this is known as what base year so base year what do we mean by base year base year is taken as some constant year with which we can compare the prices right so real gdp uh, suppose if i take two three points as a note here base year is chosen base year is chosen as a year which has remained which has remained a normal year a normal year what do we mean by this a normal year that is no war no drought no 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 pandemic in in context of uh, covid-19 so no pandemic etc right no pandemic etc uh, no not uh, particularly any external shock okay a uh, major shock that can disrupt the economy so base year can be taken as that particular year right uh, we calculate for every year we calculate both the uh, both the both the parameters for every year we calculate or we can have nominal gdp as well as real gdp nominal gdp as well as real gdp right both and uh, nominal gdp to observe uh, price rise and when we see newspaper so newspaper data newspaper data mainly talks about real gdp mainly mentions real gdp okay real 
GDP. Fine. And this base year, base year, gets revised, gets revised after seven eight years. Not necessarily, but seven eight years. This is the practice in two thousand fifteen. We selected 2011-12 as base year. In 2015, we selected 2011-12 as base year. Okay, and uh, see if uh, I talk about one current affair information here, then now the government of India, government of India, has decided. has decided to update has decided to update the base year the base year from 2011-12 to 2022-23 right to uh, provide more accurate representation of the country's economic structure right so now the base year the new base year will be 2022 23 right and one more thing that we want to understand here is uh, there is a committee 26 member committee has been formed 26 member advisory committee advisory committee on national accounts statistics national accounts statistics that is acnas chaired by who is the chairperson to so chaired by biswanath golder biswanath golder and uh, it has been tasked this committee this particular committee has been tasked with identifying new data sources identifying new data sources and refining the methodology of methodology of compiling compiling national account statistics national accounts statistics fine so this is the 20 uh, uh, 6 member committee and now the base year has been updated to 22 23 right so i hope you have uh, enjoyed this class and i will be uploading the pdf in the telegram group so as you can see here we are having this uh, uh, telegram uh, channel this instagram page right and uh, the youtube channel name motionomics so you can subscribe to this channel and uh, you can join telegram group to get the pdf of this particular class and keep posting your suggestions and comments it will help us to improve uh, the class presentation right thank thank you very much take care bye bye